Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI, a method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. An SAI program could limit global temperature increases, reducing some risks associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transition from fossil fuels. This process is also relatively inexpensive. The National Research, Research Council estimates that a fully deployed SAI program would cost about $10 billion yearly. To start the new month, claims tonight international vapour trails laid by international organisations could be filling central west skies with dangerous chemicals. Opponents of these mysterious chemtrails, which have been appearing over Dubbo and other central west centres, argue science is being perverted to change local weather patterns and keep Australia in drought. These weirdly shaped vapour trails above Dubbo make curious patterns, but concerns tonight it could signal a systematic poisoning of the skies above western New South Wales. Jet planes often leave contrails, but these vapour trails aren't on any recognised flight paths, and they run closely parallel and cross over in gigantic X shapes. For water. In the early 2000s, the UAE started performing regular cloud seeding operations. Cloud seeding is the process of increasing the amount of rain produced from clouds. So as we have been reporting for the past week or so, fine dust concentrations really did rise to alarming levels in South Korea over the past several days. One of the methods identified as a potential way to mitigate the worst effects it's, uh, is a technology called cloud seeding. Tests are already being carried out in the skies above South Korea. Residents in southern Tasmania are demanding to know why cloud seeding was conducted over the Derwent River catchment the day before the worst floods in 40 years. Cloud seeding is a technique used to increase rain. The death dumps, otherwise known as chemical trails, are being dropped and sprayed throughout the United States, in England, Scotland, Ireland, Northern Europe, and I have personally seen them, not only in the United States, but in Mexico and Canada. Birds are dying around the world. Fish are dying by the hundreds of thousands around the world. This is genocide by the United Nations. This element within our society that's doing this must be stopped. I happen to know of two of the locations where the airplanes are that dump this crap on us. Four of the planes are out of Air National Guard, Lincoln, Nebraska, and the other planes are out of Fort Still, Oklahoma.